What's up guys, I'm Courtney Kaysen and this is Style This, a friendly, fashionable competition where we take two contestants and give them five minutes to put together the season's hottest look. Katrina Zish and Mary Nelson are gonna be joining me today for one Hello. crazy good look. Hi. First of all, you guys totally brought it with your outfit. Oh, thank, you. thank you. I needed to get the memo Ooh, for a jumpsuit, but I will tell you, uh -huh. we may have a jumpsuit back there for you, we may not. Oh. We may have accessories and handbags, we may not. <laughs> you guys will have five minutes to create a look that's all about camo. And I mean, Katrina, okay. when I think about your history in fashion, yeah. I mean, you know more than anybody else what a diverse print this is. Oh, camo to me is a neutral, essentially, at this point. I mean, you can wear it with everything, kind of like leopard. I always say leopard is a neutral. You can really pair it with everything. Um, I was going to give you a little tip, but I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, it's a competition. So All right, Mary, what yeah. are your thoughts on camo? Yeah. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous. I've loved camo for years. And what I think is cool about it in 2019 is the color play, that it's not the conventional palette, that we're seeing all of these tones of like berry and blue. And I think it makes it a little bit more interesting and edgy, but a fun way to express your style. Like for me, I don't like to do a lot of tight stuff or low uh -huh. cut stuff, but something like a camo print feels current and, and edgy um, without compromising on the other stuff. All right, ladies. Well, you have five minutes to pull together an entire look from oh, head to toe. Okay. Three, two, oh one, my God. go. Seriously? Okay, that was really fast. Fast. Oh, sorry. Oh. Have you ever dressed a mannequin? I have never dressed a mannequin in my life. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> How do you get it on the so thing? everything I, that's is a really removable. Good oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really think I'm doing some really evil to this poor mm -hmm. All right, so we just gotta. I don't okay. know what I'm doing. Okay. Whoa. Oh. She's shrinking. The elevator goes down. Okay, let's make her, let's make her tall. Okay. How cute. Oh my gosh, okay, Mary. Oh my gosh, Nelson. I love it. You guys are doing great. Oh. Any last moments? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Girls. Okay, so I'll start with you. Let's talk about your vibe for camo. Okay, so my vibe for camo is um, you should always just, of course, pick one piece. You don't want to, even if you're going, I love like a camo shoe, but that would be too tiny, I think, for this challenge. So I went with something that was a little more dressed up because a lot of us, I think, think as camo, of camo as being like t-shirts or like military pants. So I love this kind of like silky blouse and that softer palette. So then giving her a little bit of a, a dress, not making it too dressy, but then tying it at the waist. And of course, white bootcut jeans, which are always appropriate, especially with the little flared hem. And of course, the ultimate jacket over the shoulders yes. for that fashion flair. And then a tonal neutral bag and also kind of tonal neutral shoe boots. And my go-to, as always, is a modified hoop. And this one in rose gold, just to pick up the other neutral patterns. Sounds like or you might say be palettes. a little out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, what was your vibe with camo? Well, these pants were calling my name. I thought there was something Mary. ageless about them. Yeah. <laughs> There's something ageless about them. Um, and I don't know if it's the cut or the tonality. I had mentioned the camo and the idea of doing blues. I thought this was cool. And a nice alternative to denim, just straight up mm -hmm. denim on the bottom. Um, so doing my camo there, I own this t-shirt and it's got a little bit of a burnout quality to it. makes it? It's cute. It's Camuto. Um, but it's, it's really nice for a warm weather tee and I liked the idea of still having some visual movement in the top without competing with the camo on the bottom and then playing with some silver here with the necklace and then the handbag, beautiful statement bag. But I didn't want it to be too much like that idea of take one thing off before you leave. But right. I felt like the balance, there's some harmony here with this. But then to keep it from feeling too mm -hmm. predictable, mm -hmm. I liked the idea of a burgundy booty with this full ensemble. I have to tell you, I'm going to have to take a quick break for a second to consult my colleagues <laughs> because I actually feel very torn really? on which look Conflicted. I love best. And I think that's what's great about this series because you guys can place your comments uh, in the box below. So I'm going to let you just like sweat it out for 20 seconds while I, I'm just going to breathe. While I consult. <laughs> I'm not sweating anymore. Now I'm just breathing. Get the water. <laughs> Exactly. We've come to a group consensus. I oh. want to let you know this is the first time it's ever happened. Oh. Um, it's by one vote. Oh. 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 Wow. 
That was close. And the winner of our Style This Challenge is Katrina! Yay! Thank you! Oh my God. I will say, in the spirit of warm weather vibes, you had me at all of this texture, but all of the lightness. But I mean, like for you, Tuesday after Labor Day, like I am in New York, Blue cheese stuffed yeah. olive dirty martinis. Oh, you know, yes. like it was one vote. And quite frankly, I'm gonna count it half a vote. You guys did amazingly thank well. You. A big thank you to Mary and Katrina because without you, we wouldn't have these amazing yes. camo looks. Both girls knocked it out of the park today with their interpretation of camo. When I take a look at Katrina, I feel like this is so authentically hers. It's kind of like that cool girl vibe with the elevated basics. I mean, from the Geely jacket to the Joan top to even the Peace Love World, which is a jean that will translate so casually if you need it to. The Vince Camuto shoes are awesome because if you're looking for a little bit of height, there's such a stable sense of that. And then pairing it with another tonal Vince Camuto bag, I feel like ties the look in to go to brunch, spend the weekend somewhere fabulous in the fall, or a night out with your girlfriends. But Mary Nelson, this is really authentically her as well, because I mean, her and I often talk about growing up in the middle of nowhere, and I think how fashion forward this is. It's playful, but to her point, it's also approachable fashion for the everyday. She took a burnout tee from Vince Camuto and then did a tonal look with a Geely camo pant that's got that cargo pocket influence. To me, this is a little more utilitarian, which is great because it translates Monday to Sunday. It's definitely more casual, but I love that she added a little little bit of sass with that Mark Fisher booty to really kind of give some life to the outfit in terms of statements. Of course, she also did that with our Italian jewelry necklace and then of course finished it off with an amazing fry bag. So it's a really hard decision. So if you want to vote, type in who you think won in the comments below. See you next time on Style This.